So my buddy Fluffy here at Best Buy, he let me, he actually was the guy who helped me purchase the EOS R. Shout out to him, not gonna show him on camera though. He let me hold the EOS RP, which is Canon's new full frame mirrorless camera. And I think it feels nice in the hand, Fluffy. I really think it does. It's really light though, just like everybody says, but uh, I still think it's a neat camera amongst all the hate that it's got, regardless. So here, I'm gonna hand that back to you. I spent a lot more money than I wanted to in there. I think I'm pretty much all done there with that. Gotta go pick up one more thing, one or two more things, and then it should be good. Should be all set and ready to go. Last thing that I needed to pick up was a crate for cables. I don't like having to carry all of my different cables and whatnot, especially charging cables and power strips all around in different bags. So if I just have a crate, it makes life a little bit easier for me. So I ended up having to make a few purchases, and I'm not 100% happy that I had to make a few purchases. But the work that I am getting ready to do in the next couple days totally justifies what I had to buy. I'll just give you a quick rundown here. So of course I showed you that I ended up going out and buying a new crate, but I had to buy some other things, one of which was a drone battery. So this is basically just another battery for the Mavic Pro. I bought another hard drive because I wanna make sure that the work that I'm doing on this trip that I'm going on is going to be backed up on not only one hard drive, but a second hard drive, just in case something goes wrong. It's better to be safe than to be sorry. And then a variable ND filter that I know for a fact I'm gonna be using a lot on this trip coming up. And then this cable right here that is essentially an HDMI to HDMI mini. I definitely needed this. The reason why I needed to buy this, I'll show you in just a second. And then finally, the thing that I'm not 100% happy about me having to get, I guess I feel a little bittersweet with this purchase, is I kind of had to pick up another stabilizer and I had a choice between Zion Crane or another Ronin S and of course, I had to buy another Ronin S because the work that I am doing justifies me having to buy another stabilizer. I'm gonna be working with another camera person and the expectation with this work is that a lot of these shots are going to be 100% stable. If I was going to buy another stabilizer, I probably would have bought a Zion crane because it is much more cheaper and affordable than a Ronin S. However, they had two different cranes there. One of them was the Crane 2, the other one was the original crane. But regardless of even if I bought one or the other, I would still have to learn a completely new system of stabilization, one that I'm not very familiar with because for the past six months, I've really just been using a DJI stabilizer. So I have to get this thing set up in a little bit, which should be no problem whatsoever because literally I use this stabilizer practically every single day. So the more important thing that I wanted to get to today was talking about this cable right here. I know, I know, I know. Oh, you wanna say hi to the vlog? Say hi to the vlog, hello vlog. So basically this cable right here is an HDMI to HDMI mini. So you have a normal HDMI cord right here, but then you have an HDMI mini, which is a much tinier, hold on, which is a much tinier version than the HDMI. So the purpose of this cord right here is to help me with my little LCD issue that I have on the good old handy dandy Canon 80D. So fortunately, my boss at the aquarium at the new job that I've started, which is going fantastic by the way, when he saw that I broke the main camera, he felt really bad about it. I basically told him, well, it's not 100% broken. I could still technically use it for filming and for pictures. I just can't see what stuff looks like on the back of the LCD. He said, oh, that's totally cool. I have an extra monitor you could use. I said, are you serious? He said, sure, yeah, I'll bring it in one day and set you up with it, so then you're all good to go. So I went ahead, took him up on his offer. So he hooked me up with this little small HD external monitor. So Small HD is a fairly well-known company in the realm of external monitors, um, but I have never used an external monitor before, so this is my very first time using one. So he set me up with this, and it's a really old piece of equipment. I mean, it still works, which is great. I really like the small screen. My only downside Side, though is that the battery pack is like huge it's honking and apparently I can put a separate one on here for longer battery life but that battery is being used for something else and so this battery is the only one that I really have to work with here so in order for me to connect my ADD to this I needed my HDMI to HDMI mini cord. I have never done this before. This is my first time trying this out. So hopefully, so hopefully I have a battery that's charged because I don't have one in here. So we're gonna attach a lens to the camera and it is going to be my good old handy dandy 10 to 18 Canon lens. This is a fantastic lens for real estate. I wanna do a video on this lens. I've been dying to, just don't get around to doing it. I don't know why. Maybe this little process right here will justify me having to get uh, an external monitor. I doubt it because I don't want to spend a whole lot more money anytime soon, really. It worked for a second there. What's going on? Does it work? Yeah, you know what? Look at that. 
Oh, stopped working. See, that works. That's awesome. That's so cool. Look, now it's filming the camera and it's blue again. I guess it's maybe just a very sensitive port. That is cool. Yeah, buddy. You know what? I may be able to get this back. I may be able to set up a very ridiculous vlogging setup with this. It's just kind of neat. Okay. Holy cow, we got it back. Look at this. This is not at all by any means a practical vlogging setup. Look at this. <laughs> I got it to work again. Now we can use the ADD for vlogging once again. So should we take this outside and just see what kind of stuff we can get? I think so. Doing this experiment right now, I like two things. Number one, I like that I know I can still film with the ADD outside. This is, I think, the first time I've actually taken this thing out and filmed with it since I broke it. Now, when I say that everything works, the dual pixel autofocus works. The only downside is that I guess I can't use the touch screen on the back anymore. But what's great though, is that the dual pixel autofocus works. So it's good for vlogging. This thing does not lose my face at all. It feels really good to have this thing back in my hands and it feels great to vlog with it. I'm not gonna lie, but it's still just not practical. This is such a heavy setup. My other complaint is that this cord right here hangs off a bunch. Like it's all just dangling here right on the side. I think this is like a two or three foot long cord. I wish there was a way that I could like wrap this thing up probably if I had some velcro or maybe a zip tie or something I could so like I've said probably many 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 times before this camera still works it's not broken by any means I just can't use the back LCD so by using the external monitor here on top of the camera I sort of fix that problem now I could still use this as a vlogging camera but for the time being it won't be a vlogging camera now that I have this external monitor I'm just gonna use this thing as a secondary camera probably more like a B or a C camera even for some of my setups and for some of my jobs coming up. But this monitor, game changer. Super, super happy that I tried this out. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below what you think of this ridiculous setup right here to kind of revive the Canon 80D and bring it back into full use. And with that being said, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.